and I got dead bored. When I was a kid, I was a diehard gamer. And the idea of me giving up, getting bored, giving up on the game was unheard of. But eventually, I was like, you know what? This is enough. I stopped. Now, then the other ones came out. The sequels, and I freaking loved them. Because the sequels corrected everything that was wrong with the original. Sequels had variety, and they didn't go forever. I mean, they were long games, but there's all kinds of different... I mean, it, didn't, it wasn't just repeating the, the same five backgrounds over and over. You, you, you had all kinds of vast environments, all kinds of enemies, bosses, um, and they were all about exploration. There was a map and everything. I just died. I love, I absolutely love those games. And I don't remember playing Super Adventure Island. I don't remember playing any of them because apparently there's a Super Adventure Island 2 on Super Nintendo. I definitely don't remember this. At first I thought maybe I played it, I just don't remember. But now, I don't know if I played it because the time limit thing up there would have really annoyed me back in the day. I probably wouldn't have even bothered with it. Okay, you're not getting me this time. Ah, you got me this time! So, I got these fireballs. And I got a boomerang, so now the fireballs are acting like a boomerang. And if I get that hammer, someone tells me they'll act like a hammer. Yep. Okay, that's interesting. Die. So this game, this game obviously seems like it's a callback to the very first one where it's just a side scroller, no exploration, no map system, no finding items and such. Which you know I'm fine with, but I prefer the other way. And actually, this game would be just fine. Just fine if it wasn't for that up there. You know, don't get me wrong. I have noticed some good things. The music in this game is wonderful. Very wonderful. The graphics are nice and clean. I mean, it seems like a fun platformer. The same vein of the first one. So, yeah. It's really the only, the only issue I have with it. Okay, another issue. I just realized that bar up there is not even your health bar. You're a one-hit wonder. You just also have to worry about your time life bar going down, too. Ugh. Really? I mean, other than that, though, this is a pretty decent game so far. Rocks are coming. Oh, I missed out. I don't need them right now. Black 
I gotta collect my my fruit. No! This is almost ready to kind of rock my world. Jumping in this game. Alright. Alright. Bonus. Or the temple. Oh, I smell a boss fight. It is. Still have your time, your life bar still counts down there, boss fights. Ugh, what? Okay. So not only do I worry about being a one hit wonder, you gotta worry about giving the boss some time. Oh god, I really despise that. That. Ugh. Why do they have to do that? Why? Oh, I shouldn't have got a hammer. This is not going to be easy, folks. Okay. Right off the bat. 
bath afterwards. Why even force that hammer on me? Whoa! Love Walrus had some issues. It's hit the helium a little too hard. I 
did find the bonus stage. Okay. This is interesting. See that these springs disappear when I hit them. Okay. So I gotta keep bouncing as long as I can, collecting stuff. Well, that's an interesting bonus game. No. I said no. inside that tree before this world is over. Or not. Alright. Bloom dinosaurs. Very common in the tropics. You see blue dinosaur blue blue dinosaurs everywhere. And dragon sperm, I guess. So I'm staying away from the tropics. I guess that's more like a dragon ghost. Thank <laughs> you. 
we'll be able to find the boss here soon. Oh, look, a minecart chase. Well, I'm quite familiar with minecart chases right now. Actually, it's not really a chase. More like a very brief ride. Okay, I jumped a little too early. Yeah. 